The plugin creates a heat map that visualizes how each token behaves. It will level up your understanding of prompting. I will show the installation in a moment. For model we are going to use Cyberrealistic XL in version 4. So select 4 and download it here. Then we need to prompt. I am going to borrow this one here from Tigger. I don't know how it's pronounced, I'm very sorry. I press copy here and I go over here to my automatic 11.11 instance and paste it. Now we do the same with the negative prompt and we paste it in here. We are going to delete this part here because this is from Pony Diffusion and we are using SDXL instead. Okay, image settings. We are using 30 steps, uh, width of 768 and a height of 1024. For batch count, let's set it to 4. We scroll down until we see attention heat map. We click it open and here we can insert our attention text. So basically comma separated values that we want to look up. Let's simplify this for clarity. I delete a photo comma of a beautiful antro, just anthropomorphic tiger well dressed holding up a drink we set a comma in here and then we render four images without doing anything so these are our results this is okay i like this one the tiger is very relaxed i mean the face looks a bit comic-y instead of photorealistic but i can live with that yeah this is okay Oh, I love this as well, but his right claw is a little bit big for my taste. So I think we should take this one here. So in order to reuse an image, we want to render the same image again. We click the recycle icon here. This will send over the seed of the current image. So now we get the same image every time and batch count I reduce to one. Now we need to define the words we want to check. Let's go with this one here. This will generate a heat map image for every prompt that is. I don't know if you can handle that much, but let's try it. I press Ctrl Enter. Now look at this. The photo part of our prompt really influenced almost the whole image apart from the tiger's face. That's interesting because earlier I told you the tiger looks more like a 3D render than a photorealistic one. And what do we have here? Anthropomorphic tiger really works just on the face and a little bit on the hands apparently. It's interesting that well-dressed almost covers the whole image. Holding up a drink mainly influenced this part, but Amazingly, it also influenced this part because there are bottles standing here in the background. That's interesting. As he is reclining on a gothic couch, yeah, maybe this part here is too long. So let's split it up a bit and render again. Let's reduce it to reclining. And here, let's make it just gothic couch. And yeah, now we need to change it below. I don't know if we need all of the prompts again, so maybe we remove some of this. So anthropomorphic tiger and photo, we all know. Let's just use this one here. I press Ctrl Enter and we render again. So what do we have here? Holding up a drink didn't change. Reclining now only influences the tiger and the couch. That's very good in my opinion. Gothic couch is also now more focused on the couch itself. So we did an improvement here. And yeah, well dressed. I want to see what happens when we say he is well dressed. We need to copy it of course. And now we insert it here. We don't need to see the rest and we render once more.
If you are enjoying the video so far, hit the like button so it can spread to more people and also consider subscribing to not miss out on any cool AI techniques. Thank you for doing that. So this didn't change much as you can see, but what changed is his drink and apparently the suit now looks different. Let's fix this. How about we change this into wearing beautiful tuxedo. And of course down here we need to change it and render again. I really like that it's now focused on our tiger and not on the whole image. So use it as a learning tool. You can debug your prompts and make them as exact as needed. So what else can you do with the attention heat map? You can hide the images, but they get saved. You can decide not to save the heat map images. You could click hide captions here and then wearing beautiful tuxedo wouldn't be saved onto the image. The heat map blend alpha setting is basically how strong the heat map is layered over the original image. You can also decide to render all the images onto a single grid. This will give you a better overview of all the prompts you rendered. And you could also decide to scale down the images so that they are more compact on your hard drive. This tool only works with Pony Diffusion, SDXL 1.5 and Illustrious. So that means no flux and no SD 3.5 large or medium. So how to install it? Go to extensions, click load from and here type heat. So I cannot install it because I already have it, but you just click the button here and you then click installed, check for updates and apply and restart. I hope this tutorial will bring your prompting skills to the next level. My Forge UI friends have to be strong now because it doesn't run on the current version of Forge. It works with older versions of Forge. I think the June version of 2024 should work, but to me it's not worth downgrading. I keep automatic installed if I want to use this tool. I hope this tool will give you a better understanding of prompting and if you need additional help, I have a free guide on my Patreon for you to download. I hope you learned a lot in this tutorial and if you're still missing a good AI workflow, I suggest you watch this video next.